Okay, here we're going to uh, show you how to quickly code a bank statement for import. Um, my previous video will show you how to do that from the RBS download. The col just as a reminder, the columns I've added was line numbers so that we can data sort it and get it back into the same order that it was in. We have uh, added money in and money out columns and we've moved the negatives to money out. You can never import a negative into cash flow. Now what I'm going to do now is consolidate these two columns because when you've got in an accounting system it's useful to see how something's been paid for example by direct debit here or by backs so it's quite useful. So what I'm going to do is type in a command that will consolidate those two. It's equals and it's consignate. It's consignate. Is it? consignate. And you just click on the two columns, put in a separator, and close the brackets. the two into one cell. Copy this down. Highlight it all. Highlight the whole column. Copy. A special values. And we'll call this one comment. So comment is the title of the import for the narrative. I'm going to now copy that across to column D and delete column C, delete column F, and you'll see two columns I've added prior, which basically tells the accountant or yourself what the, the um, transaction is and what the accounting system account number is. So really this is the only column that you, you truly need for the import because that's what tells the accounting system what account number it's going to. This is really only for Excel analysis if you need it. So you don't necessarily need to do that. This column is redundant. You can leave extra columns in there like this one and this one the, and tell it not to import. So I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm happy with this document. This can be imported. I'm going to delete that. You can see that I've coded everything. They've all got um, account numbers down here. Um, so we'll go to save as. Save it onto the desktop. We'll save it as a comma separated document. And we'll call it um, cash flow bank import. Okay, let's close it. go to the demo account. This is the overview page. If we go to the bank module, in fact let's go to the balance sheet. I'll show you what I've done already. This is a clean accounting system. So if we just look at the balance sheet, you can see here I've, I've actually entered plant and machinery spends. So they've been put to assets in the balance sheet. If you click on the number, you can see a breakdown of that. Laptop, server, desks, printers, etc, etc. So the double entry was that, was 
spend money on, it was actually the director that spent the money, so it wasn't the company bank account, it was the director spending his own personal money. So you can see that he spent money on fixed assets, so it's an asset, and the company owes him money because he's spent the money, not the company. So you can see there that there's a, a liability for the company owing the director money. But if we go to bank now for this import, you can see here that there's five bank accounts I've set up. One of them is the director's loan account, one of them is the main bank account, one of them is the loan account for buying the property, this is a rental property business, and again another loan. We need to make the bank that we want to import the main bank account. So if we look at the director's loan account, that's the default bank account. Now we don't want to import to the director's loan account because this account we're importing is the bank account. So this needs to be top of the list, this one here. So we'll go to edit details, make it the default bank account, update. You okay, see now that it is the main, it's at the top of the list. So let's get importing. So we go to settings, import data, CSV, the username, you put in your username for um, logging into cash flow. This is a demo account of mine. So. It's a CSV we're importing. Yes, it's a bank transaction. Select a file that you've um, created. Okay. Open. Upload. Include the column headers. And you can see here that the system tries to guess what the columns are. So you can see here that it's allocating date to date, comment to comment, which is that money in, money out. The narrative is ignoring, which is correct. The transaction type is critical. That's where it tells the system whether it's sales, whether it's buying charges, whether it's postage. So I'm happy to import. We go import. Now it's, it's going to leave the second screen open. I'm importing right up to date, so you can see there there's October 2010 all the way down to September 2012, so it's quite a big, quite a, a large period. So if we go back to cash flow tab, go to the bank, leaving the importer open, we can see here that the bank balance has changed. So we can go to view add transactions. We can see all the transactions we've entered. Now this account was blank before. Uh, we had an opening balance, but you can see all the, these are all the transactions that have been imported, and these are the accounts that it's been posted to. So it's fairly intelligent. We go to tools and reports. Look at balance sheet. You see here that it's populated the bank account, it's populated the loan account, and the, the other loan accounts. What I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to import the second part of the bank account, and then we'll do a balance sheet and a PL review. But for the purposes of this video, that's as shown the import function. Thank you.